lol. Today, I will be doing addition sub and subtraction of fractions, and also greater than, less than, or equal. So, actually, we should start with greater, less than, or equal. Because then we'll get to know the concept. So, which is greater, a quarter or a seventh? Y'all might be wondering how to find that. So, why I don't want color. For you to find this, you have to first get them with, to have the same denominator. If they already had the same denominator, then it'd be easy. Then you just look for, like, which one's bigger. Because if you had a quarter and three quarters, you know that three quarters is bigger. Because they're both the same thing. But usually, anytime you're trying to see which is bigger, you have to bring everything to the same unit. But here, fractions, well, it's quarters and eighths. So, you can already see a relationship between the two numbers. So, the 4 times 2 is 8. So, what you have to do is you have to find the lowest common multiple of both of the denominators, which is 8 in this case. So... Once you multiply the 1 at the top by 2, because whatever you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. So, once you're done multiplying the 1 by 2, you'd get 2 eighths. Okay. 2 eighths. And then now that we have 2 eighths, 2 eighths is less than 7 eighths. So that gives us our answer, that 7 eighths is greater. But then, in greater than, less than, or equal, you have to know whether the first one so in the first one let me get a red color it is less for oh 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 no that's way too far okay then we have this one now instead of going through the whole process sometimes you can see which is greater because in this case, you can s after you already saw that here, it was 2 over 8. But without even seeing that, you should know that, okay, 1 quarter is less than half of, well, 2 quarters is half. So, then 1 quarter is less than half. And 5 eighths is more than half because 4 eighths is a half. So, you should know that 5 eighths is greater. But even though, let's just go through it. So, 4 the greatest, the lowest common multiple is 8, so 4 times 2 is 8, and then 1 times 2 is 2, so 2 eighths, and then 2 eighths is less than 5 eighths, so what you'd get here is e not equal, greater, oh, okay, I did not mean to do that. Then, for this final one, we're going to go through it again. So, this will all work in a nice little golden color. Anyway, two eighths or one quarter? Which do you think is greater? Well, let's change the quarter to an eighth, because you change it to the smaller one. In this case, eighth is eighths are smaller than quarters if you were to have a pizza if you had to give everyone one slice and you had to divide it into quarters then you'd only you'd have one quarter but then if you had to divide it into eighths you'd only have one eighth and an eighth is half of a quarter so four can go four times two is eight and then one times two is two but then you have the same thing so this one get equal in case you weren't there in our last video why did I just do that then you would know that this is an, an equivalent fraction well if you weren't there then well now you know this is an equivalent fraction so that's why it's equal but those type of questions don't only come up in fractions so yeah they only come up when you have other units like milliliters milligrams huh? milligrams that's something so, now that we have found that out, now we can do these addition problems. 
the top three seem pretty simple, but the bottom three are a little harder. So, anyway, let's go for number one. Number one, it's pretty simple. One fifth plus three fifths would give you four fifths. So then, I don't know, but that is our answer. Four fifths. And then, this one, one quarter plus three quarters would give you four quarters. But four quarters would be four over four. So then, you'd get one whole. Stop losing the color. I want you to keep the color. It keeps losing its color. There'd be one whole. And then, and just color. Anyway, five sevenths plus, no, five eighths plus seven eighths would give you, um, twelve. Twelve eighths. So, once you have that, that's greater than eight. So you could either do twelve over eight, but then, in most cases, they'd want it as most cases they'd want you to put it as um one and can I just put an equal sign? One and what is it? Ah. So then you have to take away eight from twelve, then you're left with four. Then you have four over ah, it's not fourteen. One and four over eight. But then, that can be simplified, as you may have seen in our last video if you were there. So then, you'd know that this would be 1 and 1 half. Yeah. Well, that was a lot. Okay. Now we're here. So, this one, it follows the same thing that you did in the greater or less than. But, the thing is, 5 and 3... Well, three can't go into five. So how would you do this? Let me just... Not that. Yes. So how would you do that? Well, you find the lowest common multiple. So it doesn't have to be like one can go into the other. In some cases, you might just have to multiply the two to get the highest one. So in this case, three by five is 15. Then... Um, 2 plus 4 is 6, so that'd be 6 fifteenths. Next one. Now, if you multiply 8 by 3, you get 24. So, you can go, uh, you would get 9, 9 over 24. Oh yeah, and in our last one, don't get mad at me, but you could simplify this using 3. And 3 can go into 6 2 times, and 3 can go into 15 5 times. Now this one, 9 over 24, there's also some simplifying you can do. You could use 3, yeah, there's the only thing you can use. 3 into 9, 3. 3 you can go into 24 8 times. So you get 3 8s. No, um, certain times, ah, stuff, wait, why is this here? I don't even know. Basically, I don't know why this is like this. Ah, wait, no, that's not it. But basically, sometimes there are numbers that you can use the numbers that, even though you can multiply them, that's not their lowest of the lowest. For example, 6 and 8. They both go into 24. Wait, no, that's not an example. That... Oh, wait, it is. Yes. Okay, 6 and 8. They... 6, 8 are 48. What am I saying? Yeah, it is. 6 and 8 are 48, but then 6 and 8 can both go into 24. So instead of doing 48, um, whatever over 48, 
you could just do 24 because they both can go into 24. 6 can go into 24 four times and 8 can go into 24 three times. So you gotta look out for those. Now, we're moving on to subtraction. Oh, I didn't do this one. This is for greater than or less than. Uh, I didn't do this one, apparently. So we're gonna do it now. Don't know how I forgot it. So, you can, you can multiply 3 by 7, which is 21. No. Yeah, 21. So, and then... Now, in this case, 3 can't go into 7, so you have to use 21. So you have to multiply 3 by 7 to get 21. So, 3 by 7 is 21. So, 21. And, wait. Uh, to go down. What is this? I don't know what happened. Uh, right. Okay. So, you get 21. Then you have to multiply the 1 by 7, since you had to multiply the 3 by 7. So, 7. And then you have to multiply the 5 by 3, because you have to multiply 7 by 3 to get 21. So, 5 by 3 is 15. So, 7 plus 15, you get 20, uh, 22. So, that's 22 over 21, so that's an improper fraction. So, instead, you would write it as 1 and 1 over 21. Yeah. A little weird. Anyway. So, this is also subtraction problems. So, in, in this, in subtraction, it's the same as addition. So, 5 from 7, you get 2. And 2 eighths. 2 eighths can be simplified into a quarter. And 2 can go into 8 once. No, 2 can go into 8 4 times. And 2 can go into 2 once. Next one. Take away 1 quarter from 3 quarters. These are all simple. So, then, in that case, we get... Anyway, so, and then once you take away, you get two quarters, which can be simplified into, it can be simplified into, where is my chat? I, not chat, what am I talking about? I can like type, but, okay. It can be simplified into one half. Then, this one another one of those where you have to do some stuff so what you do is you change it so for well we did this a while ago so it'd be two eighths so two eighths from three eighths you'd be left with one eighth and that is your answer one eighth so i hope this helped you understand everything in fractions a little bit more Hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.